Hey, how's it going, everyone? This is Charles with the next edition of Charles Snyder Raw, which is unscripted, unedited, unplanned, unfiltered, and unimaginable sometimes. Thoughts and feelings, stuff that I'm facing in business every day. And a lot of the times I've been taking questions from Quora, which leads me to the whole topic for today is I want to give a shout out to my man, Christian. Christian's been following us for at least a month, probably longer now, and he's uh, upvoted a lot of our answers on Quora, and I I apologize. It just seemed that you requested our answer to your question here uh, late last night, so I wanted to, um, you know, it's early in the day. I usually late, wait until later to actually create these videos, so I wanted to get to it today because First thing, because you've been you've been great, man. I wanted to return the love and um, you know give you the best value possible, which kind of leads into what we're talking about. But first, here's Christian's question: How do you know what to write and whether your blog post will be any good? Well, first of all, how do you know what to write? Let's let's focus on that aspect of it. Write about what you know. Now, I'm assuming that you're talking about your business and telesystems uh, technologies, which um, I actually went through and I did a video first. And then I was like, no, wait a minute. I want to back up. And because you've been so great for us, I want to return the favor. So you have a lot of great stuff here um, on your business website. You're the CEO of IntelliSystems. So I wanted to return the favor and talk about something specifically that applies to you. And I mean, and the concept applies to anyone in business, but I wanted to make this specifically about you and your business. Um, what to write about is, I see you're talking about, you know, certain kinds of electronics. You're talking about uh, closed circuit TV, special cameras and stuff for industry. And what you need to do is check out uh, maybe not so much Quora or even social media in general, but there are groups, dis discussion groups that, um, you know, I, I see like pictures of a refinery here. There's like some kind of a lab work there. So I'm thinking, you know, it might be like aerospace industry or something like that. There's a lot of different groups that apply to all those things that you have going on there with surveillance, uh, refining, chemical, you know, the chemical industry, um, highly polished, you know, optics and stuff that is all, you know, that's all great. Uh, ammo, if you will, for creating content. And one of the best ways to do that is you can, um, I'm not sure if there's like a lot of uh, social media out there where people are talking about nuclear physics and closed circuit TV. Well, I'm, I know there is from the security aspect. I know there there are some groups as far as that goes. And this would, you know, requires a little bit of research on your part, but you have some great content on here. And I wanted to co commend you on that uh, because every time you do work with a company, especially on the larger projects like you, you have here, you do a case study. That's something that you write about. Um, so th that's good stuff there. And you, know, you got some, you talk about uh, interviews with yourself. The future of robotic, you know, you're talking about robotics, megatronics. I don't even know what the hell that is. <laughs> you're talking about tablets and smartphones, which is consumer technology. There is a lot of stuff that you can answer about that. So there's a lot of great potential there for coming up with topics of what to write about. People are always having problems with their technology, with their tablets, with their phones, with their laptops, computers, etc. There's also a lot of room there to be talking about 
you know, what the future is going to be. What's the, what's the next greatest craze going to be like, you know, facial recognition or or something like that with your, your mobile device. I'm, you know, I, I don't know a whole lot about that. So it's kind of hard for me to really come up with examples, but I know just from seeing what you're dealing with there, uh, that there's a tremendous amount of potential topics. It just, it, the biggest thing is, is just knowing where to dig. Coming up with those common uh, problems or common uh, questions that people have, whether it's in your industry or for the industries that you are working with, and solve it. <laughs> That's how you know you're going to have good content. And the more often you see a question, for example, we see a hell of a lot of questions about search engine optimization optimization, and blogging and marketing. So we answer questions. You know, when we see a particular question coming up a lot, we answer it. And it's popular by default because people want to know about search engine optimization. People want to know about technology. The next thing coming down the line as far as cell phones, what's the... Uh, uh, <clears throat> what's the Galaxy 11 going to look like? What's the iPhone, uh, the Apple iPhone 12 or whatever we're up to now? What's that going to look like? What kind of technologies is going to be involved there? So you have a lot of great potential for content there. The, well, it's only really limited by your research. Find the groups. Uh, you got like a d- lot of different uh, companies here. You can do searches on like Facebook or even Quora and uh, even LinkedIn and look for people that are employed by or work for Philips, for Global Star. Uh, Honeywell, that's, a, that's one I'm familiar with. My dad used to be uh, uh, an HVAC technician, and Honeywell does a lot of controls for HVAC systems. So that's a name that's familiar to me. Telecom. I'm sure that in Italy, that telecom has hundreds, if not thousands, of employees. Look at the kind of questions and problems that these folks are having, and that gives you plenty to talk about in your different uh, articles and stuff. And as I've mentioned in a lot of my different videos and stuff, Really consider doing video, too, because, like, especially with, like, case studies um, in your interviews, do video. Video is huge. Hardly anybody is doing video. And, I mean, you're even talking about technology and stuff, especially, like, closed-circuit TVs and that, right? I mean, we got it right there. So focus focus on your audience, what their problems are. You won't have a problem with coming up with, number one, stuff to write about or to blog about or to create videos about. And number two, create video, use technology to your advantage. And you don't even have to have like really expensive equipment and stuff. Uh, I've been talking about doing video for the last like 10 years. Didn't really start doing video myself until about three years ago. And we really, started using video uh, a little over a year ago and things are just exploding for us because no one is doing video. (laughs) No one's talking about it. So it's, I mean, definitely have the written part of it to go with the video, but have the video because that's, it's huge. YouTube is blowing up right now. Social media in general, like Facebook is the biggest social media platform on the planet, and they recommend using video. If you have an ad on uh, Facebook, or not even so much an ad, but just a like a post that you boost, one of the biggest things you can do right now is using video, because even Facebook says, I think it was a study that they just released last year, so unlike what um, that that butthurt dude Tony had to say about the one video that I did, 
Facebook is telling you, is telling everybody, telling all of us that video is the way to go because they did a study last year. It shows that a post or an ad with a video gets as much as 10 times the amount of views as just a written article or an article with, uh, say, a picture. Use video. It's huge. It's not going to go away. It's only going to get bigger. More people are going to start doing it. So I would recommend getting on the ground floor now, getting used to doing it. And as you go along, you'll get better at that. You can use better equipment and stuff later on, but just start using it. Just create a video. Get on a camera and talk about what you're writing about. And it's as simple as that. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to cut it off. Again, I want to thank you so much for all the upvotes that you have given us. This is an awesome question you have given us on Quora. And I do also want to mention that you you have a, a great piece of gold knowledge right here. This is a golden nugget right here. A great way to self-edit your post is to read them out loud. I love that, dude. <clears throat> I'm going to start doing that. Because I think I've always tried to keep things like in a conversational style, like if I'm talking to one of my friends or a family member or something like that. And I think it's a very important aspect of why our videos have been as good as they have been, because I try not to get too technical with it. I try to keep things simple and I try and get right to the point. But again, I'm using video. So. I'm benefiting from what Facebook is telling us. And Google is telling us the same thing with YouTube because right now, well, Google owns YouTube. And Google is saying that ads uh, on Google through AdWords and stuff like that are doing really well because, well, with video because they get as much as, again, as much as 10 times the amount of clicks or the amount of uh, views that just a plain text or picture post gets. Facebook and Google, the two biggest platforms in the world, in the universe, are telling you to use video. <laughs> so please keep that in the back of your mind. Again, thanks for all the love. Thanks for all the upvotes. Really appreciate it. Great question, great answer that you've given in there as well. So I wanted to focus on that because you had a lot of great answers in there already. So I wanted to focus on those kind of aspects because I didn't really see a whole lot in there about actually surveying, taking, you know, looking at your audience and see what they're, what kind of problems they're having, see what kind of questions they have. And that's what you use to create content. So with that, I'm out of here. It's a bit longer than what I usually go. I'm actually going to probably uh, create a written article with this. So it might be later in the day when you see this. But again, I, I, I want to really, really thank you for, you know, number one, the great question, uh, great post that you have in there, all the upvotes that you've given us. And thanks again. If you have more questions, feel free to uh, let us know or contact us directly the next time. That way, you know, I see it, and we'll get to your question right away. Sorry it was, took a couple of days, but is what it is, I guess. Anyway, I'm out of here. Love, peace, and chicken grease.